everybody. It's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. We're back for part two of our book nook. I have been working on all the little bits and pieces, the little tiny, um, <clears throat> wait, let me I get carried away. I'm so excited about this, by the way. I am now fully in love with book nooks, and I can see what Terry meant about them being like a puzzle. They really are, and, um, I kind of looked ahead. I didn't do any more other than these little pieces. Um, <clears throat> so I'd kind of be ready. Hey, Cindy. Hi, Peggy. Hello, Catherine. Glad y'all could be here today. Tried to talk Pam into saying, oh, I wanted to show her my book nook. Shoot. Hey, Carol. Hi, Vicki. And there's Cindy Carol. Cindy, I've got, um, oh, wait, let me see. I, I switched out my I switched out my uh, wax burner and I've got oak moss and amber going now along with my candles so uh, y'all Lynchburg Candle Company that's Cindy Carroll's business and her products are amazing hi Kate hello Pat so let me just show you the little bit that I did do and when we finished yesterday I was putting together the little books and I went ahead and um, glued the books the way they're supposed to be on the little bookshelf. And the little sketches are stickers. So it looks like he's just laid his sketches or she has laid her sketches out on the bookshelf there. Pete Pablo was in a rush to Taterbug. Yay! Oh, hey, Sherry. So we've got, look, let me, I put this together. I think this was the hardest thing I've done. Honestly, you know, they had that little bouquet of flowers. Well, you have to untie the flowers and then wrap them in one of the little newspapers and then wrap it back up. Well, I let go of the flowers once. They went everywhere. So I had to use tweezers to put the little flowers all back together and I think I lost it yeah here's one one that did not make it back into the bouquet I wonder if I could stick that down in there it may have just fallen out but so if you decide to do this one is called the painters desk at dusk what is it painters day at dusk if you do this one be careful with the little flowers hi Judy Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. Okay, so we've got all of our little books in here. This is our little newspaper stack. How cute is that? I had to cut out every single newspaper. You fold it over and then you tie it up. We're not to that point yet. I mean, to the point where we use that yet. Let me show you um, the little calendar. These are all just little paper pieces that you'll put together. So it showed it kind of with the top of calendar page kind of turned up like that. So that's the calendar. And we have all of these, what did they call them? Sketches, sketches, paper, scrolls. Anyway, they tell you to roll them up like this. So all I did, I cut them all out and I took this little, it's a piece of skewer that I cut off of the witch hat from my little witch that I made this week. Peggy, I got this on Amazon. And that newspaper, all these little pieces are so cute. Hi, Marlene. So I had saved this because I'm me. So all I did was wrap these tightly around this and kind of hold it in place. And so they, they stayed rolled up. They're all in here ready for us whenever this calls for us to use them. I put these little books to there are two of these books. They give you the pages in a long uh, line and you just accordion fold them and put the sticker cover on here. And these are gonna kind of sit open like that. So that's what we have in our little bitty thing here. There's more stuff over here. There are more sketches and paintings and stuff, but uh, that's what I did ahead of time. Um, you could take a copy of the little things on paper and use them in your journaling, maybe. Carol, that's a really cool idea. You could scan 
you could scan these. You sure could. They give you a book, alternative book pages. So if you wanted a spooky book, Lisa, if you're on here, a spooky book inside. I didn't see that till after I put mine together. Is it Giannina? Hello, how are you? Um, ready for round two, Lynn, I'm so glad. Uh, these are little stickers, but you could easily um, print these out if you wanted to, scan them and print them out and use them as ephemera. I think that'd be a great idea. Um, print them on cardstock, awesome idea. Okay, so what I did was, as homework, I told you the reason I found these was Terry Lightsey, who I go live with on uh, Decoupage Queen's Creative Hour. She has her own page. It's just Terry Lightsey. Um, she and her friend uh, Robin from Robin's Song did two of these together. So I went back to watch how they did it. And they were just as frustrated as I was when they opened it up. They were like overwhelmed. And she told me I would be. But, you know, yesterday was nerve-wracking. I'm not going to lie about that. Y'all saw me. But once you really get in the groove of it, these instructions are fantastic. And, hey, Tam Tammy, how are you doing? Good to see you. Crafty peeps here, y'all. Uh, well, and let me tell you, they give you, and I used them. Let me tell you I used these. Tweezers. I had to use these tweezers to get these books in place. I did put a little glue on the bottom of each one so they wouldn't fall out. It didn't tell me to do that, but there are places where it doesn't tell you to use glue where I'm going to use glue. So I watched Terry and her friend uh, Robin from, Ro uh, from Robin's Song did the music room. It's really cool too. There's a little Victrola and all the musical instruments that hang on the walls very cool um so i watched them terry got to it's they were on about two hours hour and 45 minutes for the first one. Oh, <laughs> thank you terry T what i was thinking of terry lightsey tammy thank you i have to have these on to work on these little bitty things i can't see with my, just my contacts in yay i'm so glad vicky i'm glad you're here she got into part two. So that's what we're going to do today. If I can get through part two, I will then finish it out probably on my own tomorrow and then show you the finished piece because I'm not sure about lighting. We're going to see. But uh, part two, there's a place in the front. Let me just, I'm about to get to getting, but I want to show you what I learned that I did not see yesterday. It shows you right here. These are the paper instructions. This is what told me how to put together the newspapers, the books, the little flowers and all that. Um, this shows you part one that we did yesterday, part two that we're gonna do today, part three is gonna be the upstairs loft, and then four is, um, I think it's that back room, or you or the assembly of it. Then you see the picture, so to me, when I can kind of see the flow of it, it helps me a lot. So I'm just letting you know that in case you get one, you won't be quite as overwhelmed as I was in the beginning maybe. So what we're doing today is the other side of this room right here. That's what I'm gonna work on. So the very first thing is the easel. I tried to just not, I almost did the easel ahead and I thought, no, I told them I was gonna do it with them. So I'm not gonna go ahead. Uh, of the game, and that's going to be, let's see, D6, 5, 26, 20, yeah, right here. D6, 6. This little painting that's beautiful. Hi, Cena. You ready for part two? Okay, let me see if I can, that one's not wanting to come out. And I learned something else. There are these little pieces that I didn't know what they were. So always read the instructions. Let me see if I... They call them tools, small tools or something like that, that are actually here to help you punch out the small, teeny tiny pieces. And now, I don't know 
know where they are, but uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time searching because I'm going to try to just punch them out myself. I also didn't know what this plexiglass piece was for. This is a dust cover that you can put slide down in the front of your book nook if you don't want to get it all dusty inside. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not because it's kind of... Um, um, well, you see it's kind of scratched up and stuff. I don't know if... We'll see how it goes. Is there a link for this? Um, well, I'll tell you what I did. I went on Amazon and I searched Book Nook. Uh, you, if you want this one in particular, you can put in Artist Studio. I think that's what I searched for in, in that. I looked on Timu last night. There are... Uh, some that are a little less expensive on Timu and they have some that I didn't see on Amazon. I might order one from there just so I can uh, re you know, report back to y'all if they're worth the money or if they're the same quality. They may be made by the same company. I don't know. I've got a silence call. Let me get that off my screen. Okay, Barb, hello. Ah, surprise, surprise. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, and I think I saw Gail Chandler come in. I'm so glad. Yeah. Um, okay, let me see if I can get my little... Yeah, there it is. This is what holds the little painting on the... On the stand. Align D6 with the machine line. Okay, I think that's all I need for this little part. And I'm kind of excited about this little easel. Let's, let me ask you this. Would it be better for me to um, point y'all down to look at this? It's a little bit of, you know, going to be a little bit of both because you'll have to see it. This, I think I'm going to leave it like this. I made up my mind. A protective, maybe so. I bet there, yes, there, see, that's why I have y'all around. Come on, get off my screen. All right, I'm going to get my B7000 out. And let's go on and put this in place. It's got a little line where you, um, shows you where to place this little, what do you call this, a little ledge for your painting. I'm just gonna let that sit like that. I, you know, I almost got out super glue for this. I'm, if I wasn't so scared of um, gluing my fingers together, I think I would get that out because this takes a, a minute. Do I have super glue in here? I might try it. I do. I might do that because it's faster. And then this is going to go right on here. That's my little painting. And I'm probably going to glue it into place. I just don't want it falling apart. Line D6 with the positioning, okay? I'm gonna try not to get this on my fingers. I haven't used this in a while. Does it still work? Maybe not. Let me try something. Did Lisa get here? Hey, Iris. Well, y'all, there may not be super glue. Yep, there we go. Okay, it's working. I think. Don't get on me. Okay. Don't get on me. <laughs> There's a little painting. And then this goes like this to the back. I'm gonna have to glue it. Right there, I'm super gluing. So it'll stand up. I 
Hey, Dolly. Nope, we're doing hot glue. I'm not studying that. We all know our limitations, right? All right. Stay right there. There's such tiny pieces. Don't let my finger stick to that, please. It's a little easel. Just hold it here just a second. And then, then we're going to put the carpet down. Or the rug, I should say. Since Pam is not watching with me, I'm thinking of getting each of us one of these for Christmas. And Y'all will, Cindy, I think you'll love it. You like puzzles, don't you? I think you're you're a puzzle person just like I am. And um, I think that's going right back there in that little. And if you're puzzle people, I think you'll love it. I really, really do. Because yesterday I was like, okay, she said, if I like puzzles, I would love this. Well, I love puzzles, but this isn't like a puzzle to me, and it is now. I get it. I get it. Just takes a, a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to get this little rug or carpet in place. They've got a little placement lines on here. And I just can't wait to put it on the buffet behind me. Can y'all see that now? We've got a rug and it says to put this right in this back corner and I think I'll put just a little bit of glue in that hole. Now I'm going to do B7000. Oh, you did, Shauna. Which ones did you choose? I'd love to know. I, um, I'm not going to say it, just in case they uh, they don't watch my lives very often, but I'm thinking about doing one for somebody for Christmas, who I know would never do it for themselves, but would love the outcome. All right, tweezers, this is a job for you. Get in that little place. There, are, There's a little slot for the back of the easel. Now, what I noticed, and I'm glad I watched her do this next part, I'm going to make this wall next, but it's going to be freestanding, kind of like this one. It has a little notch to go into, but what holds it in place is going to be the outside of the book, you know, the, so let's see, we're going to get going on, it's going to be E, I need E. This should be at the bottom. So let's get on where E is. Here's my little tools. I found them in case I need them again. Hmm. E. They do make you hop around. You know, it's not in a particular order, as you could tell. And we're going to need. E32, E31, and this is not a cheaply made thing, y'all. This is sturdy. It really is. Who brought this idea to landing? Dolly, I saw Terry Lightsey and her friend Robin from Robin's Song do book nooks and I had to Google what a book nook was because I fell in love with the end product immediately. This is just my kind of thing. Um, and so I, I went to Terry and I said, I need to know if I can do this. Do, do you recommend it? Hey, Carol, do you recommend it or was it um, 
hard to do, frustrating, and she told me, she said, when I first opened it, it overwhelmed me, especially when you're live, you know, I can see that, um, it overwhelmed her and her friend, she said, I was like, you know, what, what, what is this, um, what is that, hold on, hold on, let me just, 33, got it, okay, now I get it. Um, she said, but once you get in the groove of it, she said, it is so much fun. She said, now I want to do, uh, now I want to do all the seasons, you know? I said, really? She said, do you like puzzles? I said, oh my goodness, I'm a puzzle freak. Yes, I love to do puzzles. She said, you'll love it. She said, once I got into it, she said, it, we, we just had, we had the greatest time. Okay, I just got to get my brain around. I can't talk while I do this, obviously. And I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... Uh, glue, I can see. This little bookshelf. Or, is this a bookshelf? Or a seat? So, yeah. Glue. I need glue. It was a little chilly here, even out on the porch this morning. I mean, we could have easily sat out there. Um, I think it was like 60. Definitely feeling fall coming. I'm just going to hold this in place for a minute while we chat. <laughs> I wish I could love this weather. I do enjoy, we were out yesterday and when we had to go run errands and so when we come back out of a place not to be hit with that feeling like you open the oven door it just felt good and fresh outside um, that was nice but uh, other than that I'm not a fall person it just means winter's coming and I hate being that way I really do Yeah, I think this is a little bench. So let's, if you are doing like Cindy's talking about and um, she and her sister get together on Fridays and like she was saying, it would be fun to um, get one for herself and one for her sister and work on these together. You know, I, I think that would be awesome I wish they had had these when my dad was still alive. He'd have rocked these, I'm telling you. This is this is right up his alley. And uh, we would have had a ball doing these together. So there's that little piece. Now, let me go up here to this wall. We're gonna start putting this wall together. E35 is right here. You made cornbread last night, mainly to warm the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, is Brandon here? Wait a minute. Wait, I hadn't seen him in forever. I didn't see Brandon. Uh, y'all are talking amongst yourselves. I love when y'all do that. Okay. So now I need E40. That's this piece right here with that pretty um, wallpaper on it that's in the other part of the house. Oh, I see. It's all one big piece here. So what I was saying is it would be a, a, you know, a good thing to do what Cindy's talking about. Get yourself one and get somebody else one that you know loves puzzles or miniatures like this. Hi, Linda and Susan. Um, and do these together. Let's see how this goes together. We've got this piece and this fits here. And then, yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's gonna fit right in here. Nope, right down here. I need to send Amanda from Amanda Made a note and ask her what she thinks of these. 
she would rock the book notes. And they look so great if you put a whole stack of books together and then have one of these in the middle. It just looks so pretty lit up. Okay, now we're going to put... Well, this goes all the way over here. And... This... No, no, no. Let me see. Um, um, this goes on the end. Oh, hold on. No, like, like this, right? That can't be. Okay, we're not gonna. It's all good. Oh, I see. I'm missing a step. Y'all give me a second. I'm having a little issue here. Okay, we're back on track. Back on track. Let's go down here. Yeah. And then this. It's like this to hold it kind of in place. <laughs> no, wait, no. It is a puzzle. It is a puzzle. It is a puzzle. So, dang gum it. This is messing with my head. This is why you need to just, you know, sit quietly and peacefully and uh, work it out on your own. Do, do, do. Y'all, I promise I have a college degree. I really do. <laughs> Sometimes. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, though. But it just takes me a minute. What'd you get, Peggy? I want to know. See, I don't understand. Okay, maybe. Okay. All right. It's a little nook. I'm with you now. <laughs> Is that right? So that... Really? Yeah. Okay. And so then this goes where? Right down here. It fits right in that slot. Fits right in that slot. <laughs> My cousin does these. She did a whole flower. Oh, Sarah, that is so cool. I saw a little, um, it looked like a little greenhouse. I would love to do for the, for the spring. Hope that's right. Let me see. Does that look right? Yeah, that looks like the picture. All right, so we're done with step 12. like to say that was painless, but, okay, now, let me put that off. You don't need to leave that just sitting out and open. Where are we going now? Each E23. Ooh, they're pretty little scroll work. I'm still waiting to hear from Peggy on what she ordered. There we go. That's uh, 23 and 26 goes with it right here. Oh, okay. And it's going to cover up. Gotcha. Going to go like that. And then this is... E24. Twenty-four. 
she is. It's a secret. She's not going to tell us. And uh, I'm going to bet, what's this one, 25? Yeah. Okay. And that's 27 right here. Okay, it's a little bitty piece. But if you, you know, if you can just sit down in a comfortable spot and spread this out and just, um, you know, like set up a card table or something like you would a puzzle. I have a puzzle um, desk kind of thing that I can pull out from under the sofa and put out. So if I don't finish it at once, I can tuck it back up under the sofa. And I almost got that out for this and did work this on the dining room table because that board, the puzzle board I have is way too big for this table. But uh, I don't know. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll put down a piece of cardboard if I needed to move it. Okay, so what it's telling me to do is right down here on this end. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. This is going to go here. Okay, okay. Look at the pictures. They do have a lot of good pictures. So this sits right in here. I'm going to turn it around. As soon as I get these kind of in place because it's really cute and then these two go right here so I'm gonna glue those down let me show you is that supposed to go all the way down here yeah. yeah yeah oh okay no don't break anything now Let me, let me just see if I can't push that in a little bit. wonder why that does, that leaves a gap. It's okay, though. So here's part of the wall. We're just constructing. <laughs> well, I'm not always patient, but I do love a puzzle. I really, really love a puzzle. So, um, and then this little piece goes right here in the middle. That's cute chose the garden house and doll house. Oh, I love that garden house. I don't remember the doll house. I'll have to look that up. Um, but I know it'll be cute. And y'all, listen, whoop, if you do these, post them to uh, Taterbug and Sweet Taterbugs. I want to see all of them. I know it's going to make me want them. I can't afford to have all of them, but um, we can always save our pennies and uh, do one for the next season. I wonder if there's a Christmas one. You know, wouldn't that be cool? Let me move this down just there. We want that lined up. And now I need to glue these two pretty pieces in here. And it'll put a little glue icon on each step where you're supposed to glue. But I noticed some of them, as I watched Terry go a little bit further than this, like there's a little chair we're going to put together. Um, I think I think I'm finding my groove, Lisa. I hope so. But it didn't have a glue icon next to the chair. And so every time Terry set it down, the chair would come apart. So... I already know that I'm going to go on and glue the chair together. So if you happen to get this one, and it seemed to me that the music room one that her friend um, Robin did was very similar in the way, you know, it's you put little pieces together like this. Um, you can watch this video again. That's what I did with Terry's, you know, and to see you know, to get an idea, I watched ahead. I have not watched her part two yet, because I think, I think I'm getting the, the hang a little bit. Look at that wall. How cute is that? Hey, Chrissy. There's a Christmas one that's musical. Oh, golly, I'm going to want that. it! Oh, wait, I'm not done. I got a, there's a top part to this cabinet. So let's do that. We're going to do E15 right here. Oh, and then we have little sculptures. This is so fun. 
E15, E18, Do this part. This is going to go here. This goes here. It snaps right in, just like a puzzle. This is going to snap in here, hopefully. This is called a book nook, Stacy. Um, it's called a book nook, and I'm going to show you. Let me get this in place, and I will show you what the finished piece looks like. On the outside, it looks like a book. You put it on your bookshelf like this where you're looking in here and it will have a light, a, a little chandelier in there. And so in a row of books, this one lights up like you're looking into a little miniature world. And this is a painter's studio. So, Hey Gwen, super late, had my girl over. Listen, that's all right. I'm just glad you're here. Just glad you're here. All right, and then this piece goes right like that, and it'll pop right down in there, and this will go right in here. See how easy that just went together? And that's going to fit on the top. It's going to go, let me see how. This fits right in there. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is too fun. Now let me show you. <laughs> eee, look at it. How about that? I love it. Okay. Now, so that's step 14. Ta-ta-da. And then step 15, we're going to need E34. I'm glad they're staying on E, not making me jump all around again. Where's 34? Right here. Okay, E34, 43. Where's 43? Hold on. Oh, they switched, okay, E13. 13, that's this little sculpture thing. Um, 20. Right here. 21, right here. E12. I'll show you this. Look at that little sculpture with the flowers on it. Hey, Marsha, how are you? Hey, Nina. Oh, I'm going to squeal. When I turn those lights on and that chandelier lights up, y'all will hear a squeal all the way from Bartlett, Tennessee. I'm telling you. Do I do 14 yet? No, I don't do 14 yet. Okay. 12, 21. Where's that guy? I got to find H. You ought to be easy to find. It's another, yeah. Uh, is this H? Yes, here we go. Some cool pieces on H. 35, is that right? H, 43. Oh, it's flowers. And that's, okay, okay. Got it. Flowers. Or bother with other manufacturers. I didn't, I missed that part. Okay, so this is E34, and we're going to put this together. We've got um, this one fits right in here. 
this one. Nope. Nope, did that wrong. This one fits right here. Alright. And this one apparently goes at the top. Yeah, so um well that gonna stick without me gluing it. That's it going through the <laughs> cardboard. Hold on. There we go. They fit pretty snug. So we've got a little shelf here. And we need to put the flowers here. I might glue those in place. Let me see how they hold up. Once you get this all, uh, it is all wooden. It is. Uh, once you get this all in place in the book nook and all the sides come on, you're not going to be reaching in there, you know, for anything. They make it where the sensor is easy to just stick your finger on and turn the lights on. So, um, you, you know, like this, this part, it says you don't need to glue. I don't know. I think I'm going to, I think I'll put a little glue right here and right here just for good measure um, because it's right at the top. But all the pieces will fit in. I just don't want them to be wiggly until I get them all put in place. And then right here goes this guy. And while I'm thinking about it, somebody, I saw somebody had asked if Mr. T is cooking tomorrow night. He is not. He is at the cabin this week, so he'll have to make up for that next week. Look how cute that is. Oh, I see what you mean. The shutter's lower than the other. That's, thank you, thank you. Push that back up in place. Thank you for saying that. Now, this, I have to sit down for a minute because it's taking me to another step. So let me just let that sit like that. And now we're building something that looks like a drawer. And it's step 16. I think it's going to go right in here. I'm not sure. Okay. And we're back to E. And uh, we're doing 37. Little pieces. There's seven, thirty, eight. This one's on the side. Thirty-nine is right here. Thirty-one sitting there. Okay. Thirty-six is the back part. Whoop. And twenty-two. Some more of that pretty scroll work. Let's see. Let's see how this, how does this do? Yeah, we're going to need glue. We're going to need glue right in here. All right. And then I'm going to lay that down like that to hold it in place. And then these are going like this. Let's see how well these fit together pretty good so I hope by doing these you know y'all said you wanted me to do it live I really did, I wasn't sure that I would do this live I just wanted to build one for myself but uh, y'all said you wanted to see me do it live I hope by doing this when you get yours it might save you a little frustration in the beginning is Chris Hunter back here ah oh, I'm so happy you're here Chris look Look at the beginnings of my book nook. We have, we have an artist's easel. We have books. We have a little shelf with books on it. Oh, I'm working on this wall right now. And I'm loving every minute of this. This is fun. Even when it's frustrating, you know, there can be times when you're doing a puzzle that it can get frustrating. You're looking for that one piece. But I don't know. This is my jam. This is, and knowing what it, the outcome is going to be, oh. So cute. Does this, yeah, it goes this way. Oh my goodness, it's a little drawer and it's going to have scrolls in it. That's why I made, oh, 
little books and little scrolls. This has to fit. I'm glad they fit snug because it doesn't fall apart easily, but you've got to really look at that cute little drawer. Come on now. <laughs> Shona, aren't they cute? Do you, Peggy? I do too. I really do. So let's see. This is gonna is this gonna go right in here? I believe so. Oh my heavens, that's too cute. Let me see if I can get it. It's supposed to slide in there. Yeah, it fits good and snug. Right like that. But I can't do fit it all the way because it's supposed to look like it's sitting open with scrolls sticking out of it. So, okay. Uh, the little wall. Sweet. I love the miniature so much. I know, it's just like you get absorbed into it. Yesterday was scary. It really was um, because I didn't want to let y'all down. Um, but boy, I'm having a ball here. I really am. This is so much fun. Let's see. This is going to go. Let me see. Insert the drawer to about half the depth of the gap. Okay, got that. And we are now, what should I do next? I guess put this part. I'm trying to see, how does that? Oh, this goes down here. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Let me um, set this down again and let's poke out. We've got to get E41. Another little decorative piece. They have them at Barnes and Noble. How much are they there? I got mine on Amazon. Timu has them, and they are a little less expensive. On um, some of them, you can save as much as twenty dollars. I'll tell you that it'll take longer to get it than Amazon, of course. <gasps> Eighty to a hundred. I never would have one. I wouldn't be able to have one. <laughs> it's just that simple. So, y'all go on Amazon or Timu. Um, this goes right in here, and this goes here. This goes over here. Now we've got this that's going to fit right here. Oh my goodness, I love it. We push that piece in. Uh, I don't know, Carol, but I am going to, when I can, when I can, I am going to order one from Timu and let y'all know. I will let you know. They look identical. I believe it's the same manufacturer. Just saying. Um, but I will see. Let me turn that around. So there's our little wall. Okay. Now let's put... Roll them into two. I've got my scrolls. We're going to take two scrolls. I'm going to take different sizes of them. They're gonna go, wait, I gotta think I gotta put the books in first. There are going to be two books. Let's pull out two books. Right here, and I'm gonna do like I did. Um, do like I did earlier. Uh, oh, I have to show. Oops. See, might have to glue couple of these little sculptures in place. <clears throat> so these are going to sit on this bookshelf. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to use my tweezers. Yes, it would, Gwen. I agree. If, you know, I'm just here to tell you, this would be for my puzzle loving self and my miniature loving self, this would be 
I would love this as a gift. So if you've got people like that in your life who um, love things like puzzles and miniatures, uh, it would make an awesome gift. Okay, let's... Uh, whoever thought this up is genius. Is just genius to be able to look inside and see a little world inside a book. Oh my goodness, I think that's awesome. Look at the little books on the bookshelf. It just all looks so realistic to me. When I put this in place, I'm probably gonna secure those because that wobbling's kind of bugging me. And let's put a couple of our scrolls. Those are too tall. Let me find, do I have any shorter ones? Yeah, these are shorter. That makes more sense. And there's a little one. Put that over here. And you've got your little sketches um, rolled up. Oh, the little spot. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That would be so cute. Okay, let's just... You could kind of futz with things all day long on this. It's so much fun, but... Uh, Okay, yeah, I'll go back into my itty bitty thing. And now we need a cane. Somebody needs a cane. D19 and 20. Where's my D? There it is. 19 and 20. There we go. Okay, less than an hour. It's, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Hey, Becky. Hey, Patricia. They need a tiny book nook to go on that bookshelf. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> yep. That would be pretty cool. Somebody missed an opportunity with that. All right. This is a little slot that it goes in right here. Oh, my goodness. And that there's the little, the little, um, cane. So, now, dun, dun, dun. Now, I remember Terry saying this is kind of freestanding, but this is, you know, it'll come together with the sides on it. That's going to make me a little crazy until you do it. Let me look at this. Look at this room coming together, y'all. Can you see it? Let me see if I can pick it up. Oh, now I'm missing one of the sculptures. But do you see the room? Oh, I love it. I love it, and you can see all the way to the back to the staircase that we built yesterday. Let me put this back in place. We're missing this statue. Isn't it adorable? To Art Wellness Collaborative, I uh, paid membership, thanks. Okay, um, I will do that. There is, did you check your email for uh, the, you get an email when you sign up, and it tells you where to go and how to get in the group. Uh, that would be the first place. Check your spam folder. It might be in there. It's hard when it's not secured yet, but I'm going to go ahead. This kind of is a little wiggly in the hole, so let's go on and put it in here. A little glue in here. Oh. Ah! Wait a minute. Everybody, hold your horses. Hold your horses. Hold on to what you got. There we go. Okay. We're back. We're back in business now. Right there. All right. You just ordered two. Did you order them from Amazon or did you go to Timu or what did you decide to do? 
Okay. Now let's do our chair real quick. If y'all have to go, I understand it's coming up on an hour, but let's, let's I want to do a chair. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be in my happy space out here. I may stay in my pajamas all day long, and I'm going to put this together. I love this so much. Okay, let's find our chair. We're on E. E. Oh, and this is where the flowers come into play, too. Okay. E7. Right here. You, Amazon, which ones did you get? I'm so excited. I don't get a penny off of y'all buying them. You know what? This is not sponsored in any way. I'm just excited because this is so much fun. If you think this is your kind of thing, you know, there are a lot of people who know this is not for them. They just, that, nope, don't want to do it. I love it. I just love it. There's the arms of the chair. Okay. Now we need E6. There's the seat of the chair. And here's the back of the chair. There's E5. That's so pretty, too. Look at it's all cute. Seabreeze. Oh, Seabreeze, of course. Oh, I've got to go look that up now and see what it looks like. Okay, I think that's it for this. Okay, we've got... Now, let's do a little gluing. Because there's no glue um, little icon on this one, but I saw Terry having trouble keeping hers stuck together, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> You think so, Cindy? Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can set up a time lapse video. That would, yeah, I see what she means. That would be fun. I think I may just do that. Because y'all have uh, gone along this ride with me. You really should see the rest of it. Come on now. Come on now. Look at that chair. Chris, how are you seeing this? Look at this little chair. Hey, Vanetta. Okay, now it says you put two sketches on the chair. Let me see how they made it look. It's like they just... And then you... Where's this going to go? Where's the chair going to go? Oh, it just sits right in the little room. Oh, this is so adorable. Okay. I'm not going to put the, uh, I'm not going to put the sketches and the um, flowers in it yet. But the flowers, you get the idea. Let me show you. The little flowers are going to sit in the chair, but there are going to be sketches in the chair too. How cute. Um, Priscilla, with your help. It says 14 plus. I guess it depends on, you know, your kiddo. Um, and if you're helping them. I think, you know, you don't want to make it to uh, where it frustrates them or anything. But I can see where, um, well, I'm just going to say it says 14 and up. So I'll let you use your judgment on that. Because uh, if you help her with it, I think she'll be fascinated with it. Okay, so we're going to C now. We're going to do a little table. I can't stop. I can't stop. Because look, we're about to put this little cool table together with all the paint splatters on it. I know, this is... Chris, get one. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, this is just too great. So... This isn't the table. This isn't the one, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Wait, let me, I don't want to mess up here. Let me make sure that's the right piece because it came out yesterday. That would have been 15. Is that what it's saying? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. 
13 and 16 right here. I love the scroll work. Um, all the little furniture pieces. Shut the front door. <laughs> Y'all want to hang with me some more? And we're going to get a uh, paper one, fabric A. What? Wait, let me see what that is now. I had paper one, fabric A. Oh, okay, gotcha. There it is. It's like a painting that you've laid. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's put our table together. Yeah, that's going to be a little... Hold on. Just like that. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then these fit right in here. table paint splatters on it dolly we're working on um why can't i remember painter's day at dusk it's an art studio so if you just put book nook art studio this is the one that'll pop up there's a paintbrush and my other little paintbrush is in here <laughs> peggy's just she says i can't i cannot Oh. Okay, so now we're going to decorate the top of the table with fabric A. I think it says to do that first. So it's going to be kind of hanging over the edge like it's, you've been painting on it. And then we're going to have our little Oh my goodness. Look how that's going to go. Hey, Pat. It's an add to cart kind of day. Sorry, but it is because this is too cute. Don't miss out on this adorable. Ugh, so cute. Put a little bit of this just to hold it in place. Right there. Let's put our two paintbrushes down. Oh, just love this. So we're working on this painting, and I had to go downstairs or had to go upstairs for a little bit. cute is that? Where do you go? Okay, well, we're not quite there yet. Okay, you sit over there with the chair. This is a whole little, um, little vignette kind of area. I, I know. Vicki, come on. It, Chris found one that looks like the Italy coast. She just came back from Rome. Wait until Josie sees it, too. I want to do all of them now, and I need to be, I just need to be rich, because <laughs> this could be an obsession. I think I've just about used everything on C. Okay, we're back to D. Is this D? That's E. We're in D. We get to do the bird, the pretty bird, so I'm excited about that. Hi, my husband is home now, and it's all better. Great, Darlene. I'm so happy to hear that. That's wonderful. We love any good news. Okay, there's our little bird. Got a bird in our art studio. Seabreeze was only 29. Okay, see, now that's doable. Uh, the name is Painter's Day at Dusk, is this one. And if you Google, I mean, if you um, search Book Nook Art Studio, this should pop up. But it's Painter's Day at Dusk. 
Okay, this is number 28, and it's very little, so be careful there. And then we've got, this is, uh, this is 30, okay, yeah, it's a bird's perch. Even it is pretty and squirrely. We're, we're getting to the end of part two, which was my goal today, to get through part two for y'all and then um, set you free for your Friday evening. Because not everybody is like me and husbandless tonight. Okay, E. I thought that's what I meant. D, C, E. The legs to this table. This it has its own table or whatever kind of bird this is. Um, E3, two, one, two, three, four. Is that what that is? Yes. Okay. Put together another little um, table. But the one I chose is thinner than Lindy's. Okay. Mine was $49. Um, which has a lot for me. I'm not kidding. Uh, so I had to kind of save up and wait to get it, but uh, I'm glad I did. Now, now I'm obsessed. You're not so that oh, you're not a fan of Friday nights. Okay, well then, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> I know we could just sit here all night and do this, right? Okay, now let's let's see how this is going to go together. We've got on either side, I believe. We've got do. Let's just get an idea how this is going to look, so I can get it right in my head. Here and here, and then these slide in. This is just the decorative outside of the table. So pretty. I love it. We're already on step 20, y'all. No, step 21. The little table I just did before was 20. <gasps> that cute little table. Can y'all see it? Cindy, I could work in tater talk, couldn't I? I could. My private group. Now, so the bird is going to go. We've got this like this, this like this. I've got to put down the stickers first. These are going to be paper two sketches. So I don't guess it matters which sketch you choose. They're just random sketches. But I like to kind of look at the pictures and see what they chose. Um, so we're gonna have this here. And let's do a bird. bird. Oh, they did this bird, that makes sense. So tiny, they are teeny tiny. And I just think it's so fun when you look into it, when it's all put together, um, how intricate it is. It's like looking into a little room. That just fascinates me. I don't know why, but it really does. There's her two little sketches she's got laid down here. And then we're going to put this in here. And... This is the tricky one. Is that hook right there? Are you kidding me right now? I see. Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness, how does the bird? How, where's the. What? How does the bird do? Do. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Let me see. So I guess they glued the bird right here. Oh my goodness. And then he hangs. Okay. Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, need another one. I'm telling you, like, if I do this tomorrow, if I get going tomorrow, I, I it'll be like a puzzle. I obsess. That's why I only let myself do puzzles when I've got some time off because I can't quit. I cannot quit. It was so hard to wait until 4 o'clock today once I really watched... Um, Watch Terry's live. I can't. I just can't. I can't. Yeah, you'll need glasses. That's why I couldn't wear my contacts. <laughs> I didn't wear my contacts um, yesterday or today because I knew I needed my glasses. So let's see. This is going to go where? I gotta get, okay, this table is gonna sit right here. So the bird, right, is the bird facing out? Yeah, that's it. Yes, this is it. Okay, and then we're gonna have our little table, I mean our little chair here. Oh, this is so cute. And then right here is Oh, like she was sitting there painting. What? And then we put... Okay, I'm going to very gingerly pick this up. Look at that room. Ah! <laughs> I love it. This is so much fun. I do too. That's what I always think, Becky. You know, you look at him and go, oh, I want to go walk into that room and just sit down in that cute little chair. And, oh my goodness. So I've got to, let me, let me put my little um, things down in the chair now. We're going to put a couple of sketches. Sketches A and B. Oh, sketches A. We do a big one and a little one. So we're going to put down one of these in her chair. Right there. And then a smaller one on top of it. Let's use this one. Just stick in place. Okay, let me put my little flowers in place and pick it up and show you again. Please don't fall. How cute is that? So we finished part two that fast. We've only got two more parts to do. Or I've only got two more parts to do. You're gonna order one different than this one. There's, a, like, I thought about Becky. She's a music person. There is one called the Music Room um, that you might like, Becky. And uh, if so, if you're into music or you know somebody who is, let me see if that fits right in there. I think it does. Um, that would be a great one if you um, have a garden garden loving person there's a greenhouse um so there's all kinds of them then the next part is part three which is the upstairs we get to do the piece that's going to go right here or i do i love this so much so there'll be that and it, there's going to be another little easel up there and a whole bunch of um, sketches and something that's where <laughs> there's the little chair right up here with the little whiskey bottle and uh, glass. Oh my goodness. And then, okay, that's 
that. And then the next part, part four is just the, um, oh wait, 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 wait. We've got this, this little back part where we're going to see a fireplace come together. There'll be a little uh, fireplace upstairs. I think it's upstairs. I'm so excited. I had fun. I hope y'all did too. Um, so the next time you see this, it'll be finished. It'll be a book standing up with lights that you can look into. Let me tell you, if I can figure out the lights by myself, I will, you'll for sure hear a squeal. This will be hidden. This little um, battery pack should fit right there. It won't show from the outside. So it should fit right in this little slot behind the stairs. There's going to be a little chandelier that hangs here. Is that not adorable? Come on. And it'll light up. And it's going to look all cozy inside of here. Anyway, I love this. I'm hooked. I tell Gerald, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. He's got to come up with some more things for our online shop to support my habit. <laughs> Because I know once I finish this, I'm just going to be like, no, I, I, I got to do another one. I got to do another one. Um, but they might. What I would love to do is I would love to have this one in here, obviously, in my studio. Right back here where y'all can see it. And then I would love to have one in the bedroom and in the den. So I could, you know, just turn the little lights on at night. I think that would be so fun. Put some books around it. Anyway, am I crazy, y'all? Am I just crazy? I don't know. So, apparently there are some of y'all who uh, love this idea, too, because you've ordered. So, I think that's great. I used to have an Amazon storefront where y'all could just click it. I never made any money off of it. But you could click it and go right to my favorite things, which I had this on it. And um, it got hijacked as well so I just haven't had the time this week to to fight that um, but I'd love to have it back simply because it's so great like if Mr. T's live cooking and he uses his salt and pepper shakers we can just say they're right there it's so easy when I watch other creators and they have a list like that and I can just go to it you know and click that it takes you right to what they were using so I do need to work on that and see what happened there. I think I know what happened there, but uh, it's just going to be a matter of me fighting to get it back again like I did the Shopify store. So anyway, I hope y'all have a great Friday evening. Um, my guys are both gone. I'll probably put my jammies on and relax, feed the dogs, and I uh, might do a little porch sitting tonight, depending on um, how my allergies do, as you can tell. I took a Benadryl before I went live, but they're starting to bother me, so. Did I lose y'all? I don't see any more comments, so I hope I didn't lose any. Uh, let me see. I think my comments quit down here, because I see them at, my Amazon storefront was just where I put all my favorites, and it was in my link tree, and it's not working. Um, uh, Chris Hunter, who huh, message me, I will tell you. You're ordering your second one, Lisa. Yay! But where is the time coming from exactly? Exactly. My daughter's thinking of buying this specific one and could purchase it from your storefront. Um, yeah, I don't. It's It was taken down. But in all honesty, y'all, I never, I never saw any money from my storefront. Um, I used it for ease for y'all. And once I tried something and I really loved it, I would just automatically go over and stick it on that list so I could just tell y'all. It's right there for you. You don't have to hunt for it. And I had this on there even before I put, put it together because I just knew this was going to be fun. I knew this was right up my alley. And again, this is not for everybody, I understand. Wait, wait, wait. I just thought of something. There was a little, oh, ah, let me show you. They have a little, oh, one of these books that you just lay right here in the front. Had to do that. Oh, see, I shouldn't have touched it. Anyway, I lost a, a statue, but I'll fix that. Anyway, that's enough yapping from me. 
Uh, thanks for being here, making this so much fun. Had a good night. Have a good night. Don't forget to record. I'll try to do that. Okay. Um, I will see y'all Sunday morning. I won't be on some, my usual time Sunday afternoon. I'll be in Maddie's Mystery Box um, at 10 o'clock Central Sunday morning. So bright and early then. So I'm taking tomorrow kind of off from lives. So I can do this. <laughs> Love y'all. Thanks for being here. And I will, if you if you purchase one of these, let me know. Go over into Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs and just make a post and let me know which one you ordered or drop a screenshot. I think that's great. I'll talk to y'all soon. I'll see you Sunday morning. Bye.